Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is a love romantic relationship reading for you, Scorpio. This reading for today is for Scorpio singles only. This is a bi-weekly reading for Scorpio friends. This is applicable for singles. Scorpio, thank you so much for your amazing support. This is a reading for March 1 to March 15. What is the message for Scorpio friends? What can I get for Scorpio, please? Okay. First card, Scorpio, is the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the Justice card, the Two of Swords, the Hangman, you've got the Queen of Wands, the King of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the two of wands what's the overall energy for scorpio knight of cups wow you've got an offer of love wow back to back offer wow scorpio you know scorpio to be honest with you i like the month of march for you you're very comfortable with aries season or the fire season because you have a march placement sorry you have an um you have an mars you know you have a Ma scorpio is very comfortable with mars placement so you're gonna be enjoying this burst of energy in your love romantic scorpio okay i don't have space <laughs> let me make a space for my scorpio okay scorpio this is the first two weeks of march let's start your reading overall energy you've got someone new and then someone in the past you've got back-to-back -back offer i think this is also reflecting the recent one that i uploaded You've got someone new, okay, coming towards you, you know, showing an interest to you, Scorpio. And then someone in the past is also coming back and is now offering you a serious commitment, a serious relationship. So this is a, this is a back-to-back -back offer. Okay, let's see the developing, developing, developing story. Sorry, Scorpio. Um, okay, you've got nine of pentacles. This is definitely you. You're single. You're ready to mingle. Eight of cups, but you've got a hangover of your past. Um, okay. This is you, Scorpio. When we reach the month of March, there's a little bit of exhaustion. Exhausted. I feel exhausted because I'm a Scorpio. Um, second ascendant. So I feel a bit exhausted by the month of March. So this two back-to-back -back offer, love romantic, I feel like I need to really um, jumpstart my, <laughs> my heart again. If, if I am a Scorpio, I, like you need some sort of a jumpstart in the month of March because this is too much. This is love overload, okay? I'm just going to write it down. Love overload for Scorpio. So month of March, you're single, ready to mingle. But part of you, Scorpio, Eight of Cups, you're still holding to someone in the past because this is the cup representing the past. You're still undecided to let go of your past, although you know that there's a new person waving. Like, hi, I'm a new love. Scorpio, you're single, I'm here. And yet, here you are, you're still holding on with um, someone in the past. There's someone in the past that's really, really important to you. Um, you are struggling to let go. You're still indecisive to let go it completely. Okay? Um, so that's you. And then the first week of March, that's your drama. That's your, that's your energy. You're single. There's someone new waving around, showing an interest towards you, Scorpio. But you're still holding on someone from the past. That someone from the past, it was a missed opportunity. Okay? Um, the timing between the two of you and the past person, it is imbalanced. It is like um, a trial and error. The universe is asking you to release yourself, your thoughts, your energy, your spiritual and emotional energy to that past person. You're getting there. You know, the fact that we started off the reading Scorpio with the Nine of Pentacles, it means that you're almost there. You've almost stepped out of that... Um, that twin flame or karmic cycle, okay? Because you've got already someone new, all right? This someone new is around the first week of March, okay? So um, I want to congratulate you, Scorpio, for working hard to clearing all the 
you know soul make attach soul make soul soul mate and um some sort of twin flame or karmic cycle that's been going on with you so congratulations you made the first step out of that and it is a good step because you finally um, managed to to call something someone new in your life page of pentacles so yeah keep taking care of yourself if you haven't had someone new in the first week then keep taking care of yourself and working to you know to remove all the residual factors of that person in the past that person in the past who keeps coming back and never really offer you that tangible tangible commitment okay it's just air promises um so that's the that's the first uh, first week for you some sort of it's it's not fair not to get you know it's telling me here it's not fair uh, to miss an opportunity with someone who you know you love or they like you and vice versa but you can't hang on there you know the hangman is in reverse it's telling you scorpio no matter how you like a person if they cannot give you a tangible offer a tangible commitment you need to release and detach them in your being in your energy otherwise you won't get you won't be able to call someone new okay and i think you are successfully doing that because you're a nine of pentacles you're starting to value your yourself more and more that's the first week kind of lesson to you or message to you we've got march 4 there's some sort of march 4 cosmic event i think this is some sort of realization for you like pulse check romantically is he here is she here you know i keep thinking of them are they thinking of me no then i better take care of myself alone and declare this person um persona non grata or a missed opportunity um so further along in the going to the second week of march you've got queen of wands so you've got your power back you know so this is you queen of pentacles you are adding more value you're being comfortable to being alone accepting that those people in the past they're gone they cannot offer you some sort of solidity so you release the thought of being with them so because you don't want to get frustrated and here you are queen of wands second week of march you know you're you've got the king of swords in here and the queen of cups you know you're kind of thinking am i am i in the right path because i'm alone because if you are with a person are you happy with them is it consistent is it temporary you know things like this is this is this reading is this two cards is telling me you know your past person you probably like them but they make it difficult king of swords and queen of cups they make it complicated because as soon as you check out with them this is you queen of wands and you realize how much it feels so good you know getting out or breaking the cycle of thinking about them okay and then by mid-march you've got here the ten of pentacles and the nine of wands this is i feel like where whoever you're dating or scorpio you would get you you'll it, they, they will be vulnerable okay for some of you scorpio <clears throat> page of cups what's this page of cups in the words i feel like there's a missing link okay the world card now all right so so from for mid of march scorpio when you fully work out because the the first week of march it's kind of it's just you're working things out with yourself you've got someone new you're releasing the past by mid march you're back in the game okay you know where it went wrong you know your mistake you know that this is not good you know you've realized the faults you re you've realized the issues and the faults and the improvement that you need to do with yourself and how you communicate with the person in the past and you kind of release them and you're now ready to accept the uh the new person when you reach that point by mid-march especially march 9 onwards um you finally feel stable grounded and you're very vulnerable you're very open-minded to have a love relationship again or be finally have someone and this is where the world card this speaks about your past this is where when you've done your homework you've clear your aura this is where your person from the past comes along and offer you i want to start all over again with you okay and this page of page of cups is where you're feeling like we haven't spoken for each other so why would you offer me this 
Ace of Cups. You have declined me. You haven't said sorry to me. And yet you're here back in my life offering me this huge commitment. Okay. And I think they will persevere, you know. So you've got some sort of options coming towards you in the first two weeks of March. Mid of March, there is a past person that's going to offer you the surprising Ace of Cups. I think you would question them. Okay, because how can someone offer you this love if they don't even accept or give an apology? Okay, so something off with this person's offer. While, you know, you have someone in the background, okay? I feel like the past person is still quite strong in here, but your mind is in control of your heart. So you're giving the other person, the new person, a chance, okay? Because you've given so much effort and space with the past person they can't just occupy your space again especially when you've got someone a new inspiration around you okay so good luck to you scorpio because this is a difficult situation your person in the past will offer you an ace of wands but they're not apologizing okay the thing with the person in the past is that i just want to begin again with love to you forget about the past and scorpio is a deep soul it's a deep sign you want some sort of understanding why you're offering me this ace of cups now because you've got someone new so you are kind of fair that you offer me this i've got some new inspiration so it's it's it's, it's a decision making time for you mid-march okay good luck to you scorpio it's um it's a it's a it's a new inspiration versus someone in the past that would be um coming your way um the first two weeks of march okay thank you scorpio i hope you like the reading i hope you like the format i'll see you i'll see you soon again after two weeks all right have a great two weeks and take care scorpio and bye bye